Tommy with Elevation Every Weekend here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to give you my top 10 list of essential items for a safe and comfortable fat bike experience in the winter. If you happen to be watching this during the holiday season, these are some great gift ideas for the fat biker in your life. And if you happen to be watching outside of the holidays, these are all items I still find essential for snow biking or some for even year round use. And if you stay tuned at the end of the video, I'm going to list off a collection of really small items that are also really helpful to have as well. Almost all of these are things I use myself. So I find them to be tested over the long haul in the cold and snow. I have linked all these items down in the description below so definitely check that out if you'd like to add any of these to your kit and I've also done full reviews on a number of these items as well so those are all linked in the description as well. So let's get onto the list and check it out. Probably the most important aspect to cold weather riding is keeping your hands, feet, and head warm. My primary gloves are these convertible mittens. Not only are these outstanding for warmth but with the pullover design they're highly functional as well especially if you have to articulate your fingers. Another huge benefit I found that this design is when your hands actually do get warm and maybe start to sweat, you can actually pull off the mitten part and shed heat that way. As for socks, I prefer to use smart wool socks. They do a great job of keeping your feet warm. Also, they wick moisture and stay odor free. And I actually have two options I use for more local traditional rides. I'll just use a more standard set of socks. But if the conditions are harsher and I'm going up into the mountains, I'll actually use a ski set of smart wool socks, which pull up all the way below the knee which does a great job of also keeping the lower leg warmer the second item on the list is actually one more item for the hands and if you happen to be in an area where you're riding in really extreme cold pogies are an essential asset I actually don't own a pair of these and do not use these and that's really because I rarely ride in conditions that would require them and here in Colorado I'm able to do a fair amount of mixed use riding even through the winter where I'm riding in warmer temperatures and in the dirt but if you're someone that only rides their fat bike in the snow or as I said you live in areas with extreme cold pogies are extremely effective if not essential when paired with a decent set of gloves as for the head I have a few different options here depending on the conditions you're riding in or how much hair you have. I typically ride with a insulated fleece lined beanie which does a good job of keeping my head warm and fits under my helmet. However if it turns out to be on the warmer side and you don't want to get overheated I almost always have a buff with me which I'll wear around my neck which also keeps my neck warm and you can pull it up over your face and keep your face a little warmer. It also has a side benefit of you can put this on sort of like a headband and use the extra material to pull it back over your head and tuck it in the back. It acts as a thin lightweight head covering. If you prefer to not have the top of your head covered earmuffs or a headband are also useful options if you use earmuffs I would get a really small low profile set like this you can easily carry these in your jacket pocket and they unfold and you can actually wear these on the back of your neck covering your ears and it still clears your helmet and allows you to wear that as well I've also used this headband many times in the past as it has extra material to cover the ears. So again, it'll keep you from getting overheated, but still keep your ears warm. Usually if you can keep your ears warm, you'll be much more comfortable. One of the absolute best cold weather bike items I own and use almost every ride in the winter are fleece tights. I wear these pretty much anytime the temperature drops below 60 degrees. And they're often the only thing I'm wearing over my padded bike shorts. They do a great job keeping the legs warm. They're comfortable to ride in. And in those really windy winter days, they don't catch the wind. I have this premium Patagonia set, which I do feel are really worth the money. However, I also have a budget option down below too, because I do have some budget tights and they do a decent job as well. And really windy or extreme cold, these tights also work great under a top garment, which will be a wind resistant and water resistant layer. So these pants here, I got recently at REI and I've used multiple times. They're lightweight, comfortable, and they do a great job keeping the wind out and are also resistant to water. I've actually tried snow pants in the past, and while they are really warm, I've never found them really great for movement on the bike as they're really bulky and restrictive. These pants actually do have a little bit of stretch and have an articulated knee, so they work well while pedaling on the bike. And the zipper on the side of each leg goes all the way from the bottom down by the ankle all the way up to the waist. So you can actually put these on or take these off while out on the trail without much hassle. Next up is one of my favorite year-round items, and it's my lumbar storage bag. I've been using this for three or four years now, and prior to that, I always used to use a backpack, especially on longer backcountry rides. But since making the switch to this, I've found it superior in multiple ways. One of the major concerns in the winter is not sweating too much and I often found that wearing a backpack would make my back sweat and once that happens then you usually start to get cold and put yourself at risk at hypothermia. I've also found wearing a backpack in the summer would make me hotter as well. Because the lumbar bag is not on your back it keeps you warmer and drier in the winter and cooler in the summer. 
After making the switch, I also found I much preferred having the weight of the bag lower on my body instead of high up on my back and resting on my shoulders. And this lumbar bag actually has capacity very similar to any backpack I've used in the past. So you're not necessarily giving up anything there. And it certainly has more than enough space for all the things I typically carry in backcountry rides and even space to stuff a shell or an extra garment in there as well. And on this particular version, it actually has mesh netting on each side where you can carry extra bottles, which I've done in the past, or extra food or supplies. And one final benefit I've also found from it is during a ride it's really easy to stop just spin it around on your waist and access it from the front instead of a backpack we actually have to always take it off to get anything out of it so definitely one of my all-time favorite pieces of gear next up on the list are pedals this is one that's not necessarily fat bike or snow ride specific but I do want to highlight the pedals I've been using on all my fat bikes for several years now as they have proven themselves to be great in the wet and the cold conditions these pedals are also very reasonably priced and they are the race face chesters while I actually do ride clip in on some of my other bikes. On my fat bikes, I use flat pedals exclusively for a few reasons. I like riding in good general use winter boots as it's important to keep your feet warm and dry and you will often experience a good amount of hike a bike riding in the snow. And as a result of that, I find flats much easier to deal with, especially if you do ride in backcountry conditions where just off of the packed main trail, you may sink up to your knee in snow. So having flats is a lot easier to deal with. With the pins on these pedals, I found them to be outstanding, gripping on wet, cold, old snowy boots. Having used multiple sets of these pedals on my fat bikes, I never had a single issue or failure with them, even though exposed to the wet and the cold. And last, if you care about bike aesthetics, being able to get a variety of fun colors is a nice little bonus. Moving on from the pedals, let's actually talk about the boots that I use. These are the North Face Snow Fuse boots, and I've been using them for three or four seasons now. These boots have proven to be extremely warm, waterproof, and they're fairly lightweight. And at just over $100, they're reasonably priced. As I mentioned talking about the pedals, they do great on the bike as far as gripping on the pedals and as I said they do work really well in those hike a bike situations and you could still use them as a good general use winter boot outside of fat biking. Next up on the list is the water bottle. This one's really important as you do need to stay hydrated even when riding in the cold. Insulated bottles such as this one from Polar do a good job of keeping your liquids warm for a bit and then they can still keep your liquid from freezing during the duration of the average ride. I've been exclusively using these Polar bottles for several years now and I've never had issues with my liquid freezing during my rides. And on the flip side, in extreme heat in the summer, if you add some ice to them, they'll keep your liquids cool for quite some time as well. Next up on my winter riding list are bike lights. Short winter days mean being prepared for the dark. And I find that having a good bike light, headlamp, and a flashlight are all essential. I've been using this Olight RN 1500 for about the last year. I've been really happy with the performance of the light and I've done a full review on it, so definitely see that link down below. Having a good rear light is a good year-round tool, so I use the CME 30, also from Olight. And if you're to do any night riding I've also found a good headlamp and a good flashlight as essential tools just to have on hand. It really expands your lighting options and give you more flexibility to get light where you want to see it not on the front of the bike only. So I find all of these things essential for night riding. And the last major item on the list and the newest addition to my winter bike kit is the Ren One Rack. I find that the additional storage is fantastic for winter riding especially in the backcountry. Also of note I do not even notice it on the back of the bike from a performance standpoint fat biking. It's it's a great place to carry extra gear or if conditions are warmer than expected to shed layers and to store them easily to control heat and your comfort. I just recently reviewed this rack in detail so definitely check out the links in the description below to see all that. So that's the top 10 list but as I did say here's some bonus accessories that can make great stocking stuffers or just great things to have on hand when riding. The first thing I want to talk about are these ESI grips. They're made in the USA out of silicone and I currently use these on all my bikes year round. They work really well hold up to all weather conditions and they also come in some fun colors from a cold weather standpoint they actually do a great job of isolating your hands from metal bars whether it's steel or aluminum I've actually found in moderate winter conditions I've been able to ride without gloves at all with these grips and I have done a review on these as well an often overlooked item in winter riding is sunscreen and lip balm snowy winter riding in the Sun can really amplify the impacts of the Sun so definitely having some sunscreen on your face and some FPF protection lip balm on your lips can be really important to not regretting it the next day. Another thing I always have on hand as part of my winter bike kit, I really have to use them, are these hand warmers. So it's a chemical product. You just break it up and shake it and it'll generate heat chemically. You can use them in a pinch just to get your hands warm again. Put it inside a glove or a pogey or even put it inside a pocket near your core and help keep your whole body warm. As small, light, and packable as they are, it's just something I always have. 
have. And then the last item, something that's also small, packable, and light are tissues. I usually have a little pack of tissues on hand. Running in a cold, you'll often get that runny nose. So it's good to have that on hand just to take care of that and really improve your ride experience. So that is my top 10 list and some accessories to make snow and winter fat biking a fun and comfortable experience. If you found the video helpful, drop a like down below. It does really help out the video and the channel. If you have any questions or comments, or items that you feel are a must have that I didn't talk about in this video, definitely drop those down in the comments as well. Some really fun winter ride content is coming soon, so definitely subscribe to the channel if you'd like to follow along and see all of that. Thanks a lot and have a great day.